Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I quickly wanted to cover the Envato Elements plugin update that they've done recently and how to install page templates on your website with the new update. So let's dive into that now. So here we are in the dashboard. I actually just have a basic page set up here. It's actually blank. All it says is test page on it. If we wanted to get started here, I also have the plugins installed for Elementor and Elementor Pro. I'm going to go and click Add New. And if you don't know what Envato Elements are, we're going to just search for that right now. Envato Elements has this plugin that's made for WordPress. If you just put in Envato Elements up here in the upper right, it should come up. And we're just going to click Install Now. In my opinion, it's one of the best plugins for Elementor because you can use a lot of templates and use these templates to basically speed up the overall process of building your website out and really, really make some nice websites quickly with it. So now we have this little option over here. It says elements. What we're going to actually do is go to where it says pages this time. And then we're going to go and click on where it says edit. And then within here, I'm just going to X out of this and click edit with Elementor at the top. And then this is going to bring us into our builder. So now we have this icon right here, which is the Envato elements icon. If we just click on that, we can then look at different kits. So right here, there's free kits, there's premium ones, and there's free blocks. A lot of options in this free blocks to build out nice features of a website if the kit doesn't have it. But let's just go into kits here real quickly. And from here, you can install a kit and actually preview it. So let's just say I'm going to go through a couple of these just so you can get an idea of what there is. But let's say we like this kit right here. I'm just going to go and preview it. And then it takes a second to load. And there we can look at what different pages would look like on our site. So this says home one, and it's this whole area is the home page that it would propagate on our website once we actually set it up. So if you wanted to, you could set this up. I'm just going to use this one for the example here. So I'm just going to go X out of this and I'll click install kit. And then I'll click view kit right here. And here you can choose if you want to insert a template. So let's just go and click insert template for this home one. You can also preview it by clicking on this if you want to look at different ones again. And it just takes a moment. You can see that the number is going up now. And then we'll have our new kit installed on our website here in a second. And there we go. It is installed on our site right here by default. So you can see that here it is. If we scroll down, there is the whole kit installed just in a matter of seconds. If you actually wanted to add more, you could go and click and add another one. So let's just say you want to add a different part or another part to this page. You can just go and click, let's say, contact us here. And I'm going to import that in. And it's going to be below that home one template up here that we just put on the site. We'll also have that one below it. So now we have this really long one page website basically with this. And then we have the contact area down here as well. So there is a lot going on here that you can add in just a matter of a few seconds with Envato Elements, and that's how you would do it now. I'm just going to go over and click Update. The only other thing that I'll say is if we go back here to the dashboard, you might want to make sure your page is full width. So right here, it would be no sidebar and full width stretched for the settings, and that is what I put in place when I created this page. And then you just update it. So that is how you would use the Envato Elements plugin after the update to basically load up templates on your pages. This is something that I had somebody request, and I really hope this video helped them out and helps you out if you are wondering how to use it after the update. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more WordPress-related tutorials. Thanks for viewing, and have a good one.